Okay, this is the P4 paper from June 2022. It's question number one, which is going to be a binomial expansion question. And because we've got the power being minus two there, then we need to use the binomial expansion. Let's get started. The binomial expansion of the form one plus x to the n. So ideally, you should know this formula. You certainly know the first couple of terms. It's 1 plus nx. And then each time when you're deriving the next term, it's n. n minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial. And we're following a pattern now. So it would be n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed. Now, one more on to the powers of x, 3 factorial, and so on. That's a pattern you should be able to repeat with no problem at all. We've actually got 3 plus kx to the power of minus 2. So before I can start using this formula, this thing needs to be a 1 here. So what we need to do is to take the 3 out to give us 1 plus kx over 3 to the minus 2. But I'm not taking 3 out. I'm taking 3 to the power of minus 2. Don't get caught out by that. It's a, it's a common uh, feature that we need to do. So in this case, 3 to the minus 2 is 1 over 9. 1 plus kx over 3 to the minus 2. And now that part there, I'm going to expand using that formula there. Uh, I tend to just, just follow the pattern through. You could copy all the values over, but if I'm doing this then... What I would say is, just give myself a bit more space here because I know it's going to be quite long. So it's a ninth. I do exactly the same thing as I just did when I was deriving it in the first place. I'd say it's 1 plus nx then is going to be minus 2x in this case. The thing that I'm adding on to the 1 is kx over 3. And then let's get into a rhythm of saying it. So it's um, n, n minus 1, k x over 3 squared, all over 2 factorial, and then it's n, n minus 1, oops, excuse me, n minus 2, kx over 3 cubed this time, all over 3 factorial, plus dot, 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 and from the original question, I know I, I only need those first four terms, and I've got four terms in there. So at this stage now, it's just a question of um, having practiced these so that you have no problems when you're trying to tidy these values up. So we've got um, a ninth times one is a ninth. We've got, well, it's going to be a negative. You've got two divided by three divided by nine there. So I'm not going to go through all of those in, in such slow detail, but um, hopefully you'll have practiced enough of these to say that's 2kx over 27. The next one is a positive, because you've got a minus and a minus there, so it's going to be a positive term. We know we're going to have k squared, x squared this time, because of the kx all squared. And then it's 2, 3, 2, and 3 squared there, when you're putting the values in. So that's the last one I'll do in any detail. So that came out to be k, k squared, x squared over 27. And then the next one, again, if you go through and do it all, I'm not going to do that for you is 4k cubed x cubed all over 2, 4, 3. So now we can start answering the questions. Part A says, find the value of A. So here, A is just equal to a ninth. So that's that first bit. Part B says, um, C is equal to 3B. Can we work out what K is? Well, if C is equal to 3B, C is that bit there, k squared over 27 is equal to 3 lots of minus 2 over 27. So in other words, we're going to get that k squared over 27 is equal to minus 3 lots of, uh, sorry, 3 lots of minus 2 is minus 6, k over 27. Right, well, the 27s can cancel straight away, can't they? So I'm going to get k squared equals minus 6k, which means that k squared plus 6k equals 0. And that's actually what they were asking us to show there. 
So, yep, that's just dropped straight out. It means that all my other values are correct. So that's a really nice little check there. Part C says, can we find the value of K? And then once we've found the value of K, can we find the value of D? Okay, value of K, yeah, no problems with that. It's just solving this equation. So that's so what this is. Sorry, this is part C. Uh, solving this equation. K, K plus 6 equals 0. So I'm going to get K equals 0. I'm going to get K equals minus 6. Let's just go back and check within the context of this question. So it doesn't say anything about K being positive or negative, but you can't have K being equal to 0. If you have K being equal to 0 up here, you get 3 to the minus 2. It, it doesn't make sense within the context of our question. So K isn't equal to 0, which means K is equal to minus 6. And then for part D, um, D was equal to minus 4K cubed over 2, 4, 3. And we know that K is equal to minus 6. So I might as well just put it in in case I made any mistakes anywhere. Try and get method marks. Uh, but we haven't made any mistakes with this one, luckily. So D actually works out to be equal to minus... Uh, sorry, 32 over 9. Okay, first question done. Hopefully that all makes sense to you.